Hello, guys. Welcome back. So let's see one of the most important certifications which we have today. If you want to make your career in cybersecurity or you are coming from some other domain and there are a lot of certifications which we have seen in one of my previous videos like CEH, Security Plus from Comshia or this and the certification which we are talking about here is CSX Fundamentals from Isaka. So if you want to make your career or you want to enter in cybersecurity, so this is one of the fundal, fundamental certifications from Isaka. So let's see what we have in this certification, which is from Isaka. So how I did my CSX Fundamentals Global Certification. This is from Isaka and this is the book which is recommended. So when I did this certification, so there was a second edition and you need to check which edition is available if there's any updated one, but this is the latest information I have based on uh, you know when I just did this exam. So I'm certified CSX Fundamentals. This is Fundamental Certification from Isaka. So training is going to be for three days, eight hours per day. So that means eight into three, 24 hours. That is the official training. There are five modules or five domains which you have cybersecurity concepts where you can see 10% of these questions being asked in exam, cybersecurity architecture principles, 20%, security of network system application and data, 40%. So here they'll be asking you more questions. Incident response, almost 20%. Security implications and adoption of evolving technology, almost 10%. So the reason why I'm saying about this guide, because you need to go through the guide, you need to have an overview. This is going to help you to pass this exam. So that's what I did. I purchased this guide. I have gone through this exam. It was not that easy. It is a little bit tough because you know about Isaka exams. Mostly, you know, if you see ISCAR and Isaka, they have the certifications in management, like, you know, CISO, CISM, CRISC and all, but this is the fundamental certification from Isaka. Maybe if you are planning to go for the management side, this is going to make things clear for you. All, all those fundamentals would be clear. So exam, you have 75 questions. Two hours is the maximum time to complete all these questions. So that means you are going to have almost 1.6 minutes each question because 75 questions almost two hours that is 120 minutes so approx 1.6 minutes on each question mostly mcq but multiple answer questions are also available in the exam passing score is 65 percent exam fee is this for non-isaka members and this for isaka members again this is the latest information i had so you can check on that so there are some practice questions which are available on their website you can just search for isaka CSX fundamentals practice questions, you will get this link, or I will see if I can include that also in description so that you can have an overview what kind of questions they'll be asking in. So the planning would be two weeks is maximum time. So five days to go through the course content, one module each day. So if you are very slow, if you are medium learner, I will say like, you know, you can take it like two, three days or maximum two days to go through the content two days to go through the practice and two days to revise. So you can do this exam in 10 days or two weeks. That's the maximum time. Resources, I've already discussed in one of my previous videos, four sites you can visit for any exam. So you can go to VC plus, IT exams, exam topics and YouTube, and you can search for CSX fundamentals dumps or practice questions. And this is a badge from Isaka. Once you're getting certified, you'll be receiving a certificate and a badge like this. So this shows that you have cleared this exam. Okay, so I have already included uh, some sites here. I'm going to browse these sites. I've already opened these sites to show you what are the important things you need to keep in mind while preparing for the exam. And regarding these resources, this is not something which is recommended by, I mean, maybe Microsoft or Comptia or uh, you know any of the certification bodies. They will not recommend you, you kind of, you know, to go through those dumps and all that. None of the organizations is going to help you, but these are some, sites where you can find some practice questions you know to be useful for you so maybe in the exam you can see similar kind of questions so to, it gives you a kind of confidence but none of them either isaka nor compshare nor microsoft no one is going to recommend you to cheat in exam so 
please don't take it that way. So there are some sites which I have already opened. So this is, you know, where you have quiz questions, isaka slash media info. So some practice questions, which you have almost 25 questions, uh, which you can just go through. And then this is my portal here. I've just opened my portal and I'm just showing you, you know, you can just print this certificate from the portal. You can find, you know, my membership status, or you can just go to Isaka and you can just make an account here and you can go to my Isaka. Okay, so isaka.org, my Isaka, and you'll find all the details, whatever access you have. I have an access to this lab, whatever resources of, uh, I have, whatever certificates, you know, I have passed this exam and I got 80 just going through the book. And then I was able to pass this exam with 80% score. I can print my certificate here. So these are some labs. If you want to see what kind of labs, so Windows and Linux OS firewalls, scanning ports, uh, you know, all these labs, forensics, threat detection, and all that. Since I did these labs from some other courses, so I did not complete, I just have an overview what kind of labs they'll be asking. And because I have done these labs from some other courses, then this is about CSX fundamentals from Isaka. So, you know, view the course, view the lab, view the exam guide, everything. So exam guide is something which I would recommend, you know, to go through, to study for this exam. So this is one of the fundamentals, a fundamental certification where you can uh, get into cybersecurity or you want to make your career into cybersecurity. So a lot of times people talk about CEH, they talk about Security Plus, uh, CHV11 or Security Plus SY0601. That's the latest from CompShare. I would recommend this is also one fundamental certification from Isaka. Well, you'll be learning some fundamentals. It is being recognized, uh, you know, where you want to make your career in cybersecurity. So these are some resources. If you have any questions on this video, please do let me know in comments. I'm very thankful to all of you guys who are subscribing to my channel, sharing, commenting, and, uh, you know, motivating me to, you know, come up with something interesting. All right. Thank you. I'll see you in some other video.